Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a speed build, which I actually did a couple of weeks ago, um, of a family mansion which I found on Pinterest. This build is part of a collab that I am, am, that I am doing with Ironic Sims here on YouTube. He's also on Twitter, so make sure you check him out on both media platforms. Um, also make sure to check his channel for his side of the video. Um, so this is from Pinterest, as I'm not sure if I mentioned before, I can't even remember what I've just said a couple seconds ago, but yeah, the house is from Pinterest, I saw it and I thought it looked really cool, there is a picture at the end of the house that I worked from, um, with the final image of the house, obviously since it's a collab I built the house and Ironic Sims has furnished it, so there is no furnishing in this, there is some landscaping, but again I left it quite open for him so he could do whatever landscaping so stuff he really wanted to do, there's a small pool and some plants, but I was like, whatever furniture, feel free. Um, it's been a while since I've done any voice recording, I keep going, you know, MIA. Um, but I've been working on an actual real life renovation, so that's fun, um, of the house that I did a video of a couple of, like, maybe a month ago? I don't know. But I did a house tour of what I want it to look like, so I'm currently working on that actual house which is very exciting and then in hopefully like three to four months time I'll actually be able to move in and live there and then I'll have my own office and I'll feel more relaxed about doing videos so that'll be fun instead of doing it in my bedroom which is the current setup. So this house is quite interesting looking to be honest it was very weird it had this turret tower thing at the top which I thought was pretty cool and the master bedroom had access to that so I've just you know wanted to build something that looked a bit different, I wanted to use the new, I say new, it's not new roofing from Cats and Dogs, but you know it's different roofing that we haven't had in the game for a long time, so I was excited to do that and use all of those, which is why I'm using all these uh, eight-sided octagonal ones. Um, there's a little gazebo up front as well, which also had that type of roof, so that's why I wanted to use them as much as I could, and I just thought it was a pretty cute home. It had a very interesting layout on the inside as well, which I've tried to mimic as best I can. You'll see pictures at the end where you'll be able to judge for yourself if you feel I did a good job, but um, there was, in the actual image, um, there's a garage, like a massive huge garage, but obviously we don't have cars in The Sims, and I was like, that's a waste of space, so I didn't make the garage, I kind of have made that side a bit smaller and made it into a sort of expanded kitchen area that you could have or you can have it as a dining area you can start, kind of do whatever layout you want really I just kind of tried to make it look similar to what was in the picture um and then above that is another small bedroom bit of a quirky shape I say small it's not that small it's just smaller than the master because the master is huge and in the layout uh, that I've put out the master bedroom has a walk-in closet and a master bath like master bathroom suite thing so it's like huge um, but I don't know what Ironic Sims has done with that. He might have changed things, he might have made more bedrooms. I said, you know, do whatever you want with the layout on the inside. It's sort of just, I've gone with what was in the pictures. So yeah, it could be very different. I haven't seen his yet. Um, I know that it's currently on the gallery, on his gallery as Family Mansion. So I will be checking that out after I finish recording this, but I didn't want to see it before I recorded it because I wanted it to be a surprise. Um, so you can go to his gallery and download Family Mansion where it's completely furnished. Um, or you can download the unfurnished version from my gallery, which is Lady Smiten, obviously, and uh, you can furnish it yourself, you can change the layout yourself, you can do whatever you want, you can change the colours, it's cool. If you do any of that stuff, it'd be cool to see it if you wanted to share it with me. Um, and I don't really know what else to talk about, I'm only four minutes into the video, so that's not great. I suppose I could talk a bit more about the house that I'm currently renovating in the real world, because that's exciting. Um, though currently all we've done is hire a skip and fill a skip and rip everything out because there was many many layers of lino and carpet from that house and we get to keep the floorboards so that's cool so I'll be making them all beautiful at some point which is good if we can save money on the floor that way I've been to Ikea which I know is a thing in the UK and America and Canada but I don't know if it's a thing Oh, obviously Sweden, because that's where it's from originally, but I don't know if it's a thing all over the world, so uh, yeah, but it's a cool place, Ikea is amazing, a nice affordable, very good looking furniture. Um, so we went there to look at kitchens, so I now kind of know what sort of style kitchen that I want to have, which is cool. 
uh, and I'll probably do a vlog type thing at some point to show you the actual house. I might not physically be in it, I will be holding the camera so you can't see me, you'll just see the house. But uh, yeah, I might do sort of like a how it looks currently, like work in progress type thing and then as it goes on because we've got our builder in and we've got a quote from two electricians I think so we're just deciding who to go with so that'll be fun. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to do more videos, I'm hoping to be able to get back into my videos and especially when I live in this new house, I have my own office space, I will be able to do as many videos as I like because I won't have to worry about when my partner's sleeping because obviously I do it in my bedroom so if he's asleep in my bedroom then I can't record because that would wake him up and I'd feel awkward. <laughs> and I'll be able to do it at any hour of the day or night that I please because I often work better at night time, I don't know why, I just do. And yeah, it'll be a lot more exciting and I won't feel like obligated to get things done for other people in my family like I do at the moment because I live in their house so I'm like oh well I'd best be doing this and doing this and doing this instead of doing fun things for me which I keep getting told off by everyone for doing but um it's just the way my mind works so I won't have that in my head because it'll be my space and I'll have organized it how I want and it'll be you know done and then I'll be able to do videos and stuff rather than doing housework um so that'll be great Whew. Uh, yeah, so, 10 minutes of video to go and I don't really know what to say. There was a lot of roofing issues, which you're probably witnessing right now. Um, the video seems to be lagging for me, but I don't know if that's just because I'm recording or if it actually is lagging, so I apologize for that if that is the case. Hopefully when it renders it won't lag, but uh, I'll test it out anyway. And you won't even know if it's like lagged if I get rid of this bit and have to do it again so <laughs> this might be random rambling that I have to do and then I have to re-record everything again but if I don't then you've just heard me ramble about how I thought I would have to re-record but yeah so this house is pretty huge um there are there aren't actually that many bedrooms considering the size of the house so you could add more if you wanted to because I say the master bedroom's huge it's got an ensuite closet it's got um an ensuite bathroom and I say ensuite closet I meant walk-in closet and then there's a bedroom at the front. I think there's two other bathrooms upstairs and maybe two. Yeah, here we go. There, we can see the floor plan. So there's two bathrooms upstairs. One's the ensuite, one's the shared. There's three bedrooms, I believe. So there's the master bedroom and then three other bedrooms, I think is what it was. I think, so I think there's four bedrooms overall, but you can add as many as you want, as I say. Um, and I put it on a I think it's a 30 by 40 lot I built this on originally, but obviously if you wanted to expand, you could put it on a bigger lot and have more garden space or have more house space if you wanted to expand it. Whatever you want to do is cool. I use a lot of pet stuff in this. I say pets, I mean cats and dogs, because it's just, you know, beautiful stuff. Um, I can't remember what other packs I used a lot of. I tried to keep it more base game, but it just didn't happen, so it became a few things, but I didn't use everything, so I was quite proud of myself for not using all the packs in it. Um, there is, like in the pictures you'll see that there's like an entertainment unit thing, like built-in entertainment area. I tried to kind of mimic where that space would be downstairs, but I don't know if it works. And again, as I say, you can change it as much as you want. I feel like the hallways are massive, but I suppose in mansions they are massive. Just for me, it was like, whoa, that's ridiculously huge. Uh, the stairs, as you can see, is in a bit of a different, maybe weird place to some people. What I'm working on right now is like a sunroom thing. Uh, that was in the pictures so I made it lots of windows and it can be a nice little seating area. I was thinking like the um what am I trying to say? You know the seating that came with cats and dogs where it's like a corner seat window seat thing would look cooler with some bookcases and stuff and if I ever have a dream home that I get to build myself I'd totally have something like that where I have like a reading nook area. It was so beautiful. Um, but yeah, the stairs are in a bit of a weird place. I don't know why I clutched my hands just then. They're sort of tucked away in towards more the family living room space near the sunroom because that's what it was like on the drawing. And on the drawing, I think they were L-shaped and obviously we don't have l shape, so I couldn't do that. I just did my best with what I had. Oh, there we go, these parenthood windows. So there's parenthood windows, there's cats and dogs, uh, archways and some windows possibly, I can't quite remember, and doorways. Uh, sorry for sniffling there and base game most other things so it shouldn't be too bad obviously those columns are from get together 
because I was about to say from Windenburg, but you know what I mean, get together. So they are not base game as well. So, so far we've used like four packs. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I did try to keep it strict, but you know, didn't work out. Uh, very basic colors on the outside. Didn't want to go too crazy with that. Uh, also, I was trying to sort of keep to the image as much as possible. But yeah, I was quite happy with how this turned out. It's different from things that I've built in the past and I'm looking forward to doing more builds very soon. I have a lot of things to voice over, like um, I've got at least three builds that I can think of right now that I need to voice over, so I need to voice over... Oh wait, maybe it's more. Oh, it might be more. Okay, I know four, four that I know of, I think. So there's Jack and the Beanstalk, there's Rapunzel's Tower, there's the Crooked Man's House, these are like fairy tale ones that I've done. And then there's a cat cafe that I did when Cats and Dogs first came out and I just never recorded, the, like I never did the voiceover because I was like, oh, do I really like it? Do I really like it? But I still feel like I should share because this channel is more of sort of a documentation of my growth as a Sims builder, player, game player, whatever you want to class it as, let's play or something. So I feel I should show you all the stuff even if it's not fabulous and then you can sort of see as I progress and get better from looking at old videos to newer videos and so on and so forth and yes I do plan on getting back into all the things like I keep saying in every video the let's plays and stuff but I've been focusing on real life for once so that's new that's a first in like 20 years <laughs> that I haven't just lived through video games um so focusing on getting my real house done and then I can oh yeah get rid of this dog tower thing that came with cats and dogs because it was just making the house look a little, a little bit too tall so I get rid of that in a sec and just put some I think I don't know what decorations I might not put any decorations on there I also forgot to do like I don't know what it's called but when you do sort of porch areas like open porches and they've got the little decorations between the columns on the top i forgot to do all of that and i'm really sorry for that i don't know if ironic sims has put it in i forgot to mention it to him that i forgot to put it in so if you put that in it makes the house look a lot more refined and beautiful so i recommend that if you've got to this point in the video that you put those in and make it all fantasy fantasy and beautiful and the cats and dogs one is quite nice in particular because i did it in my own game afterwards and was like Darn, why did I do it originally? Erg, stupid me. So, yeah. Um, downstairs, you can kind of do whatever you want with. There's lots of space. You can move the living room around. I put a fireplace in just because it was there in the <laughs> blueprint, like, floor plan thing. And yeah, there's like a space for an office, a space for a big dining room, there's space for like two reception rooms if you wanted to have the kids separate from the parents or whatever. You can do whatever you want. And here's the little pool that I put out the back because I thought, you know, they need some sort of garden space. And I just did hedging. I didn't do anything super fancy. I thought it'd be better than fencing to do hedging because you can actually put the hedging right to the edge of the lot, whereas fencing is all like, no, you can't do that. Why would you put me there? So you can, again, change that if you wish. You can change all the paving and everything. I don't think I did flooring. I'm pretty sure I didn't do flooring on the inside of the house because I was leaving that up to Ironic Sims. I didn't want to sway him any particular way, which is why I didn't leave any hints really as to what room was what. It was all just up to him. He could do whatever he wanted. He could be confused. <laughs> he could change it all. It was all good. And just some very basic repetitive landscaping around the edge because I feel mansions often have very well kept landscaping. It's very organized. They'd have a gardener probably come in and here is romantic garden stuff. There we go. There's another pack that I used, even though I was trying to stick to base games. So that didn't happen. But I think by this point, I was like, yeah, I haven't stuck to base games, so let's just go crazy. <laughs> so, so far, we've used cats and dogs, parenthood, get together, and romantic garden stuff, as well as base games. So that's four packs on top of base games so far. I, that could be all of them. We could have actually hit the limit. But chances are, if you use something like Get to Work or something in there as well. I haven't used all the packs though, so and there are a lot. I haven't got the new one, the My First Pet Stuff one, because um, I haven't had the best reviews about it. So I'm just going to wait until it goes on sale for really cheap and then have it because I'm a bit of a completionist and I would like to have them all. But it sounds a bit meh. The only thing that sounds cool is sort of like the death and I wouldn't mind having a hedgehog or a bubbleus at some point. That'd be pretty cool. But yes, I think we're actually very close to nearing the end of this video. I'm not 100% sure. 
uh, is a beautiful cats and dogs tree there with some more romantic garden stuff flowers around it. Uh, I think, yeah, I went for like yellow and pinks and purples sort of colours around it because they're very beautiful, very nice together and I thought it went nice with all the blue shutters and the grey walls and the white pillars and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was quite rambly and all over the place but um, let me know what you thought in the comments down below or what you'd like to see and if you want, like if anyone has requests for a build that they particularly want me to do, feel free to ask for that. I'll look into it definitely. And don't forget to go over and check out Ironic Sims video, which he will be posting soon. It's my fault it's been delayed because I've been delayed with getting my bit done, but it is done now. Woohoo! As you can see. So make sure to go for, like look at his stuff, follow him, subscribe to him. He does really cool things. He also has a separate YouTube channel for his marimba music, which is really cool. So make sure to go check that out as well. Very talented young man. Um, but yeah, so I'm back-ish, <laughs> busy, so it might be sort of like me. I should probably just schedule that I do one video every like two weeks or something so I make sure I get it done, but I'm hopeless at scheduling at the moment because everything's all over the place and I just, well, my schedule's kind of cleared up a bit. I had a lot going on for quite a while, now it's sort of calmed down, so hopefully I'll get back into the swing of things there and get things sorted. Uh, I thought I got rid of that thing on top. I swear I do. I must do it now when I'm putting these windows in. Just be like, yeah, don't like it. So I get rid of it. Uh, but yeah, there we go. See, that's gone. And yeah, so hopefully you guys are excited to see more from me because I'm excited to do more for the channel. And uh, I thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Coming up after this, we screenshots to show the finished house and the house from Pinterest <laughs> that I mimicked it from, and also the interior floors, floor plan things, and their corresponding pictures from the website that I found, which was like family home plans or something. So yeah, hopefully you guys agree that I did a pretty okay job considering my restraints that I do have with The Sims 4 and also not having vehicles for doing the garage which would have been very useful, but was not a thing there. So anyway, yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you're excited for more stuff in the future because I am and uh, I don't really know what else to say. Check out Ironic Sims, check out both of our Twitters, also Ironic Sims and Lady Smitten, and yeah, just keep an eye out for any future content um, and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye!